Hello everybody, welcome to the 1CNC tutorial on basics. Um, as you can see on the screen it's in a trimetric view that says the uh, software starts and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into a view, CAD view, which is my plan view on top. Um, if you notice these uh, axis here, this is the X axis, this represents the Y axis and also on the screen you'll see an indigo uh, symbol around my uh, mouse and when I press my left mouse button you will notice two red rings and when I press my right mouse button you will notice two blue rings okay if I go into the uh, toolbox here open up the toolbox this is where we do all the drawings uh, creating lines um, we want to go back home create arcs if you want to create any points back home point menu so home will always take you to the beginning okay so let me just uncheck that from the software it's come off there if I go into the history tree this is where my history tree is I'll explain that in a later video layers menu where we put things on different layers any recent files we're working with within one CNC one CNC today where we can get the uh, updates and check on the forum um, the NC manager this is where we do all the tool paths and verify where we verify geometry on the screen come back to the screen um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go into a toolbox lock it in position so it stays there and in this demonstration I'm just going to uh, draw myself a 100 milli square rectangle with 20 milli rads on the corners um, so if I go into line line menu um, create a rectangle from two positions and the first thing the software asks me is what radius do I want on the corners well I could put whatever size radius on, on, I want in there or if I just wanted a square I could just turn the radiuses off there but we're going to create a 20 milli radiuses on the corner select OK and this is the communication between uh, one CNC and yourself can you see here it says pick the first position of the rectangle uh, I want my datum in the middle and so the two positions on my rectangle will be X plus 50 Y plus 50 and X minus 50 Y minus 50 so I know the first position so I'm going to go into coordinate select 50 select OK and it says pick the second position of the rectangle so coordinate again minus 50 and minus 50 select OK and there you see the rectangle on the screen um, at this point I'm going to select cancel if I actually select OK it will ask me for a new position um, in case I want to put a rectangle anywhere else but I select c cancel and you can see we've got the rectangle on the screen now I can put some dimensions in there if I go back home dimensions um, we can pick vertical and horizontal I'll select parallel at the moment create a dimension between two entities so as you can see dimension indicate the first entity indicate the second entity and there you see you know, all you need to do is put that in position where you want it select your left mouse button and that's parked it there I can pick between here and here put it in position left click and that's where it's in position I can select the radiuses uh, if I want to create diameter select the diameter if I want to create the angle between here and here I can click on angle select the first entity select the second entity and if I want the obtuse of that I just select the opposite way and there you can see it gives the uh, obtuse um, press my right mouse button which will cancel the operation um, these dimensions I can change move about on the screen if I just go into move software says select the di select dimension text to move so if I pick this I can just move it wherever I want so just select your the actual dimensions and you can move them and uh, position them new positions um, same with that and we'll just pull that out a little bit more so you can modify these uh, by using move I can also put tolerances on here I just press my right mouse button to cancel the operation and if I go into uh, 
dimensions go into tolerance and it says select dimension to change the tolerance I'm going to select that 100 and here I get the uh, to set the tolerance values uh, I'm going to select the first style where I'm going to remove um, I'll add 0.1 there and the minimum I want to take away 0.1 if I select OK you can see it's added 0.1 and deducted 0.1 from that dimension if I undo what I've done and then go into tolerance again select OK and perhaps I want to put it as plus or minus 0 0.1 0 0.1 select OK and you can see it's created plus or minus 0.1 okay so if you want to put tolerances in you can within one CNC if I want to change that radius to a diameter I can just go into uh, even in tolerance pick it and I can change that to a, a diameter select OK and it now becomes a diameter select it again put it back to a radius select OK so as you can see we can put dimensions in there uh, I'm just going to turn off the uh, dimension at the moment uh, on the screen we can select by colors and the dimensions at the moment are in black so if I select OK select all the dimensions I can either modify it put it on a layer in this instance I'm just going to delete it to, to uh, show you different ways of doing this rectangle um, so if I just select all put it in the bin and what I'm going to do now is create a line sketch I'm going to create this rectangle again I want to put that at X0 and put that at Y0 and then what I can do then is I can offset I want to offset 50 milli each side of the line and I want to do it on both sides of the line select OK pick this direction right click you can see it's offset it select no otherwise it will offset again another value and I will offset same again on there right click and you see we've created the offset lines now I could if I want to just go to trim and trim two and you can see we're just trimming the two together to make the rectangle I could have also gone into there if I just undo what I've done back home arc fill it pick the first second trim them both and it would have created we'll just change that to a 20 change that one to a 12 and same for that one there so you could use it by doing offset lines uh, I'm going to select all just put it delete that off again and what I'll finally do is I'll do it um, using sketching which is a popular one in one CNC um, you can also use coordinates as well I mean some people have the choice they want to do it in coordinates so if I select coordinates, create a line by coordinates, I can then put the correct. So I could start this at x minus 50. I want the y start to be 50. I want the x end to be plus 50 and the y end to be 50. If I select OK, you can see I've created one straight line. I could also create a line from here downwards. This would become 50. That would remain the same. That would remain the same. But this one would become minus 50 select OK and I could continue and carry on so you can use it to create um, uh, using coordinates as well just select all put that in the bin and uh, I'll go on to the next video to continue with this on the next video Thanks.